get back over to Jeff Todd with a check of our forecast. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Mackenzie. It's going to be an awesome day outside. We're keeping a few clouds as we look past downtown Denver, about 60 degrees. But then take a look. This is from the Lookout Mountain Cam, looking back to the east, and we see this low cloud cover, especially in this area, out around the airport. Take a look at what I mean. There was some dense fog there earlier today. Right now, visibility at the airport, two miles. This was even lower, below half a mile early this morning. Really caused some problems for some of the flights getting in and out of DIA. But as you look around the rest of the front range, just a fantastic day so far. The reason we had that fog, a lot of rain. There was more than a quarter of an inch of rain at the airport yesterday. That's put us above average for the month, but we're still about two and a half inches below for the year. So we're going to keep these rain chances around for most of the day, especially late overnight. And I'm going to show you what we mean here on the future cast. We're going to take it up to 10 o'clock tonight. We can kind of see this one storm popping up in the northern metro area and then take a look. There's going to be a few more through Jefferson and Douglas counties. This is all overnight, but by the time we get to this time tomorrow, those storm chances have really moved on to southern Colorado. Now here's a look at the radar and satellite. That big system is moving out of the way that we've been dealing with for the past few days, really leaving some cloud cover, some dense fog still in the Grand and Route County areas. We may see some thunderstorms over the mountains today, and we're still dealing with this fog on the eastern plains, this cloud cover. We're going to kind of keep that around for most of the day. We'll get close to 70 degrees in the middle of the afternoon, and then it's going to cool down nicely after the sun sets. It's going to be pretty warm down here in the Arkansas River Valley, at least the warmest in the state, about 75 in La Junta, but then it's going to be 60s and 70s along the eastern plains, 60s in the mountains, maybe a few 50s at the highest elevations, and then 70 degrees out west. Tomorrow, much of the same, about 70 at DIA, 68 in Boulder. It's going to be 55 in Leadville. Fantastic day. 71 out in Montrose tomorrow. Now, look at this. Anywhere you go throughout the mountains, you're going to be seeing beautiful colors. Steve Chavez sent this, this scene from Independence Pass. Just those beautiful golden hues on the mountainside near this beautiful barn. So much of that going on throughout the mountains. Taking a look at the seven-day forecast, we're going to get rid of those storm chances over the next two days. It's going to be fantastic for the Bronco game coming up on Thursday. And then really a cool down on Friday and then much the same through the weekend and into next week, these low 70s. Cool mornings down in the 40s for that Bronco game. Kickoff at 615 right before sunset. We're expecting it to be about 68 degrees, and that's going to really cool down in the fourth quarter. There's a chance for some sprinkles late, but we really don't expect that. And so it's a perfect week. Get out. We have seen fantastic colors from Crested Butte all the way up to the Peak to Peak Highway in Boulder. Mackenzie, really just a fantastic time to be in the mountains and see those beautiful leaves, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah, they are absolutely beautiful right now. Great to get out there. Thanks so much, Jeff. And don't forget, you'll find our first alert forecast every 10 minutes on our 24-hour news streaming service. You can find us on CBSColorado.com or your favorite streaming device.